Okay, so we are going to be doing tables and proportions with our measurement, both customary and metric today. We have three problems to do. Problem one is we have all these tables. The relationship between the number of meters, m, and the number of centimeters, cm, can be determined by using the expression m times 100. Which table shows this relationship? So meters and centimeters. We know this is a King Henry, if you like the King Henry strategy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my letters written down. Uh, and there they are. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And let's see here. We know when we have just a plain old single letter abbreviation that that is one of the bases. And then when we're going to centimeters, that's using that prefix. So we're going between those two um, conversions, those two measurements. And if I'm trying to figure out how many decimal spots do I move, I start at my meters and I go uh, once, twice to get to my centimeters. And that is the same thing as saying, well, meters times 100, because that's two place values. So that makes sense. I'm still gonna use King Henry on this. So I'm gonna start, I know that this is two decimal places. Uh, and we know that we're moving when I start with my meters. So I'm always gonna start at this um, kind of top one in these charts. And I'm gonna move my decimal point two places to the right. So in my number 16.2, there's already a decimal spot or a decimal point. So I'm just gonna leave it there and move it two places to the right once, twice. And I get 1620 decimal point. Is that what is down here? Uh, no. So A is out. I don't have to look at the rest of this table because part of the table was already wrong, making that an incorrect answer. B, I'm starting with my meters because that's how I chose to do it on my King Henry letters. So I'm going to move my decimal point twice, two places to the right. So it's there in my number. I leave it there and then move it once, twice, and I get 1620. Is that the same thing as what is down below, 0.162? No. So again, I don't need to look at the rest of this. It doesn't matter. It's already wrong. C, I start at my 1.62 and I move my decimal point twice, once, twice. And I get 162, which is what is down there. Let's check the next one in this table. I move my decimal point twice, once, twice. And I get 154, which is what is listed. 1.46, I get 146. And then 1.38, once I move it, I get 138. C is looking mighty good. Let's check D just to see why this one is maybe not it. I start at my meters and I am going once, twice. So I get 162. Oh, they added a zero. They accidentally moved it three times. So D is out. That's it. You could have set up a proportion, um, you could have done this, but make sure when you choose one of your answer choices, you check everything that's in that table to make sure that all are correct. Okay, the number of cups in 10 quarts can be found using which proportion? So I am using cups and quarts. Notice that there are no labeling words in any of my answer choices, just numbers. Hmm. When I'm looking at this, cups and quarts, here's quarts and here's cups, they're not on the same line. So you need another strategy. Figure out which strategy you like. I'm gonna use this one. So I'm looking for cups and quarts. The higher one up is going to get the one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just draw in this empty space. I'm gonna label um, cups and quarts, cups and quarts. I'm not even looking at my answer choices just yet. Okay, the higher one or the bigger letter is going to get the one and that is gonna be the Q, one quart. So looking at just that, ignoring all of this other stuff, how many C's are there below one Q? There are four. So there's my ratio. And then when we have 10 quarts, that's gonna go on bottom. So let's see if that is one of our answer choices. I do see that my four and the one have to be together in a ratio. Um, one and four, 
those are together. Let's start labeling things. Anywhere I see a four is going to be where my C is. So C, 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 and C. Anywhere I see a one, that's my quartz. So Q, 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 and Q. Um, and then anywhere I see a 10, kind of with my missing thing, and they call it an X, is going to be another Q. So Q, um, Q, Q, Q. Did I do this right? Hmm, okay. And then my X is my C. So cups, 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 cups. Okay, let's see. My four and one have to be together. So four and one are together. Four and one are diagonal, which that's not how we solve things in sixth grade math. One and four are together. Four and one are diagonal. So I'm pretty sure those that's out. So now I'm focusing on A and C only. I'm gonna look across as well. One and 10 are across from each other. Um, on A, they're diagonal. So I think that's probably out. And then on B, or I'm sorry, on C, they are across from each other. So let's check it. One quart is four cups, 10 quarts is X cups. That, that makes sense. And our labels are correct, quarts and cups, quarts and cups. So C is our answer. They just wrote their proportion upside down from what I did, which we all know that that's the same thing because of those labelings, they help us. Okay, and the last question, we have the relationship between kilometers and the number of meters is, can be determined by using the expression km times a thousand, which table shows this relationship. So again, this is a King Henry one. So I write my letters down. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. We have kilometers, so that's the K, King. And we're going to just plain old meters. That's not the end one. This is a base. So I'm going that way. Now, whenever I start I don't care which way you start. I tend to, I don't know, I guess I tend to use what's on the left and I go to the right when it doesn't matter, when they're not given to us specifically. So I'm gonna always be starting with my kilometers. So I'm always gonna be starting with the bottom thing in this table. So just be careful where you start. And then when I'm moving from kilometers to meters, how many places do I move? Once, twice, three times. So I'm just gonna make a note, three places. So I'm starting on the bottom because that's where my kilometers is. There's a whole number five, the decimal point is at the end. And now I move it three places to the right, once, twice, three times, and I get 5,000, uh, which is what we have. So let's check the next one in that same table. 8.3, I move it three places to the right, once, twice, three times. And I fill in zeros and I get 8,300. 14.2, once, twice, three times. Put in your zeros, 14200, 14200. And then the whole number 10, the decimal point is at the end. Now I'm going to move it once, twice, three times. One, two, three. And we have our answer, I believe. I think it's A. Kilometers. If I look at B, um, 5,000, my whole number, and then I'm still moving my decimal point to the right once, twice, three times. So I should have a whole bunch of zeros, not just point old five. So that's out. C, I'm going to put my number 500 and I move it twice, three times, once, twice, three times. So again, I should have a bunch of zeros, not just five. And then D, five. There's my decimal point, once, twice, three times. I should have a bunch of zeros, so those were wrong. Okay, that's just one strategy of how to do these problems. There are lots of ways. If you understand them and want to do them a different way, feel free. Uh, this is just how my brain goes through these. All right, good luck, go practice.